Describe the situation in which the distance that point X is from 10 is at least 15 units and express this using absolute value notation. Okay, so we kind of went into what absolute value notation was in the last question. If you want a full rundown, go see that question. So this one will kind of be like a quickened version. But just know that absolute value notation is when we see those lines those big straight lines, and it always equals a distance. We could think of it that way. And this distance, because we have the absolute value notation, whatever is in here, whether it's, you know, x plus 2 or x minus 3 or, you know, even 2x plus 1, the distance, the output will always be the positive distance. Distance. However, secretly though, there are two answers. There's always going to be a positive number because that's what the absolute values signs are, but there's a secret negative as well. So an absolute value always takes into account two directions, going to the left and to the right, adding and subtracting, positives and really negatives. So if they told us that if we read it again, right, the question said, in which the distance that point X is from 10 is at least 15. So we know that the distance between my number, and in this case, my number is 10. The distance between these two, and remember, there's two ways. There's a left and a right. The distance has to be at least 15 units. That's my distance. So technically I can go 15 to the right and I can plus 15. That would get me 25. But I can go to the left if we look at it on a number line and that would be minus 15. Or it's the same thing as saying plus a negative 15. Keep in mind plus 15 and minus 15. Minus 15 is just saying you're adding a negative value. So one is positive and one is negative, but technically you're adding on both sides. And if we do that side, uh, we will get a negative 5. 10 minus 15 is negative 5, or 10 plus a negative 15 is also a negative 5. Okay, so let's put in our absolute value notation. So the distance has to be equal to 15. So I'll put it down here. So whatever is in that absolute value notation, and maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger, has to equal the distance. And the distance here they told us was 15. What is the starting point? The starting point is 10. So 10 has to be in the absolute value brackets, per se. And we want to express that it's x from 10. So they're telling us that we need to use this variable x, but we already know the two numbers, right? Or at, at least two numbers. We know that x could be negative 5 and x could be 25, right? So I'm going to say that all we have to do is we just have to find the, the distance between them, and we can always take it as a um, subtraction, a difference. So that number minus 10, that's it. That number, whether it's a negative 5 or a 25, for our two examples, minus 10 will get us the distance. Now, we have to be careful here. The key words here is that it said that Describe the situation in which the distance that point X is from 10 is at least 15 units. So at least technically means that it could be more, right? Can't be less though. It has to be at least 15. So when we come down here, it's not going to equal 15. It has to be at least 15. Whoop. So I need to change this. 
I need to give either greater than or less than signs. But which one is it? Well, let's, let's think in terms of context. If I put a greater than sign here, this is saying that my answer is 15, right? If I say, you know, less than or equal to 15, but could it be more? It can't be less though, right? But this is saying that this is less than 15. We know that we have to be at least, but we could be more. So it has to be the opposite way. If we did this sign, and remember, I always think of it as the alligator. Here's like the teeth of the alligator. The alligator is always chomping down, chomp, chomp, on the bigger part. So if I have this, this means that this side is greater than 15. So it could be equal because it has to be at least, but it could be more, it can't be less. So this would be the correct notation. And that's the final answer. For this one at least. Awesome job, guys. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Find all function values f of x such that the distance from f of x to the value of 8 is less than 0 .00, uh, 0 0.03 units and express this using absolute value notation. Okay, so it's going to kind of be just like the setup for the last one that we did. Did they tell us a distance? Yes, they did. 0 0.03. So I know that whatever my absolute value function is inside here, has to be, and let's just put an equal sign for now, it has to be equal to 0 0.03. Now, let's first try to figure out, is it equal really? It's said here that it's less than 0 0.03. So it can't be equal to, it has to be less. So now let's see, if I erase this, and we have two options, this one, or this one. If I put this in here, who is bigger? Right, the alligator chomps down on the bigger number. So that would mean that this, or the, the function is bigger, but it has to be less than 0 0.03. So it has to be the other way. Okay, we're getting there. Now we just gotta figure out what's in here now. So they say that we now want to find all the function values and they're telling us what to put in. They're telling us that we need f of x instead of just x to the value of 8. So I know that 8 has to be in there. And instead of x, right, they told us to just put f of x, but you could think of it as the same exact idea. In this case, we said x minus 10 it's for these types of questions it's going to be your variable minus that starting number so in this case it's going to be f of x and let me just actually whoop, f of x minus 8 is less than 0 0.003 and that is your final answer not bad what do you guys think these are more conceptual. Um, we're probably, I mean, we're definitely gonna get into more math calculations in a little bit, but if you guys can understand this, we're gonna be able to do the actual math very, very easily. So you guys got this, all right? So give us a, give us a like, you know, if you like this, subscribe to the channel. We're here to help you guys with math and we have physics videos and yeah. All right, thank you for viewing. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, and I will see you all in the next question. Okay, bye-bye.